Hi everyone, this is Jason here from Nathaniel. In this lesson, we are going to use the DAW Reaper and figure out a lot of ways to speed up our workflow in terms of rendering and in terms of editing. I'm going to show you all of this stuff using some of my workflows and more specifically the workflow which I use to build my riffs and lessons for you all on YouTube. So basically whenever we shoot lessons and riffs, uh, in some cases because I am sort of in the zone or in a nice flow, I tend to do a lot of uh, tutorials and riffs, sometimes at least three or four lessons, sometimes on a good day six and riffs uh, like what has happened today, we've ended up recording 10 riffs. So that th that's a nice day for me in, 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 in the office, so to speak. So the whole idea now is once you've recorded 10 riffs, you want to basically finish the job of audio. You want to completely close it out and uh, render it out for different purposes and for different formats. So in this case, we've basically recorded the riffs for two requirements. We've recorded it for the purpose of YouTube, which is a long version, and we've recorded it for Instagram, which is a very short version, and that short version will need to be looped so that you know, that's how Instagram works. You have these reels, stories and posts. So whenever you play it, you don't want it to stop abruptly. It may annoy the listener. You don't want it to start from somewhere in the in a random point. So basically, you need a render for Instagram as well as YouTube and as well as whichever other format you may require. So using the software Reaper, basically, I've just recorded my parts onto a couple of tracks. And at the end of the day, what I want to do is I don't want to spend time rendering, as you can see, so many files here. And if you see before that, you have a few lessons. And there are a few cases where I'm just practicing. See, this is just where I'm jamming and I don't want to render this. This has a lot of my mistakes, which I like to hide. And uh, this is what I want to render. So basically, I want to render this for my YouTube audience, and which is you guys. And I want to render this for Instagram, which is for the Instagram audience, which is uh, at the rate Jason Zach. If you want, do come on board and follow me there. And for Instagram, we need to ensure that the length of the audio is under 30 seconds. That is really, really important. Or in stories, you have to do it under 15, if I'm not mistaken. And reels are, you get a little more time, I guess, 30 seconds. For a post, it's about one minute or 60 seconds. So a lot of challenges. So it's important to visualize all this well. Uh, as you can see, I have a ruler, I have some nice colors, and I have what this lesson is pretty much all about which is these regions which you see here as you can see the regions are really well named uh, as per what i'm going to render them and the whole idea is by the end of this lesson i'm going to render all the files in a multiple manner i don't need to do it one by one and uh, more importantly, don't have to keep checking in and seeing whether it happened, whether it didn't happen. Hopefully also render it to the cloud so that it's also backed up nicely. And then, of course, have a well-deserved lunch, which I'm going to do right after this process. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how I did all this with a fresh riff, as we call it. So riff is just a short piece of music, which I make very often for the purpose of me trying to make music and do it uh, at a fair rate as well as record a slow version and you know teach people how i'm doing it as best as i can so i have three versions which i actually play out i have a fast version or the normal speed version i'll just play you a sample right Okay, that's the normal speed version and after the normal speed version ends we have a slow version which is this guy right so you could follow the slow version and kind of learn it a bit easily you know if you can uh, the notes will always be presented and so on and so forth and then at the end of it all i have a version which i try to do for instagram which is the normal 
composition but i just play it a bit later just for you know i don't need to edit it cut it inside and it's a bit annoying if you ask me and i honestly think instagram cuts and instagram edits in general have to be looked at a little bit differently you don't want to just take a little bit of your song and do it just for you know instagram you know it it sometimes becomes a bit unprofessional so it's good to literally replay the performance like replay it for the next medium which it's giving which it's kind of telling you is only 15 seconds or 30 seconds so you have to compose for that or record for that you know for that requirement so uh, that's basically the overview of what i'm trying to do so i'm going to do one file for my youtube audience which is you guys again and i'm going to do another file for instagram okay and as you can see i'm going to repeat this process for pretty much everything here and uh, i'm going to show you how easy it's going to be and uh, hats off to the software reaper man it's it's open source you can use it freely you can uh, and even if you buy it it's just 60 dollars which makes it the most affordable and i've been a pro tools user for a good number of years now i've started using pro tools in 2008 2009 i've really used it i've done i've cut a lot of records on it um, but reaper has completely killed it right especially for things like this which i'm going to show you now mass rendering that's pretty much what this lesson is about mass rendering where in the most efficient way possible where you can just enjoy your meal right after the job is over okay so you have this entire region here this is what we call sorry this is what we call as an item in pro tools and other softwares you call it a region reaper calls it an item so this entire thing right here is called as an item so the first thing you want to do is select the item and hit the shortcut control on the mac or uh, uh, window on the pc and just hit r r stands for region so what it does right now is it's basically made you a region which you see here and off the top you just double click it and it makes you a selection okay if you ever want to play it back or whatever so how do i make a region again i touch an item of choice and i hit the shortcut control r on the mac or window r on the pc and now you get yourself this region here what do you do with this now well we need to render it right so what reaper will allow us to do is to render region number 27 which you see here it will also allow us to render it in the name we want we can name it in our own way and it renders it exactly as per that naming a specification which you give it right so my goal now is i've selected my item and however i want to trim this region so that it comes to my youtube end point i want this to be my youtube cut okay so it plays off and that's pretty much it for youtube so it ends there and here i want to start over for instagram so what i do is i hit s to cut it maybe i can hit another s here delete that point in the delete that space in the middle and now i have an instagram area okay i have set up a couple of shortcuts to color things up better q to color my uh, items okay lot of shortcuts in reaper obviously as you guys may know so this is my instagram cut so now what i could do easily is make another region right i could make another region and now i have my youtube cut and i have my instagram cut but i want to make this instagram cut a lot more clever first of all i want to know if it's above 30 seconds right uh, i want to know or if it's under 15 seconds depending if i want to do a story so for that reaper allows this awesome feature on items you basically right click your item go to item settings go to display item ruler and now you have a ruler for an item man how cool is that you have a ruler for an item not just the main ruler for the item under choice so uh, i want to see time in this item which is pretty much minutes and seconds so there we go right here so reaper kind of tells me that the end of this instagram cut is 26 seconds so i am in the clear here okay so this is going to be my instagram cut but i want it to be really nice and musical i feel 
so that it will loop well the listener who plays it back may also hear it a few more times so you will get a few more plays you know so let's see how it goes so let me just show you how you can make a really tight musical cut for instagram okay so first step go to the very start of the region i keep calling it region because i'm a pro tools guy actually these are items okay so go to the very start as you see the ruler of reaper will adjust you want to trim right to the beginning of the first hit or the first strike or the first chord you can even update your region now to go exactly there you can zoom in more horizontally and now if i play this guy back it starts immediately on the beat right there we go it starts exactly so now at the end of it all i wanted to kind of loop so let's just actually hear this in a kind of a loop so we know the tempo and we know the general feel of what we are trying to do by the way to play it in a loop you have this looping button here which toggle repeat you can just touch that and anything you select will pretty much play in a loop let's see how it goes for some reason it's looping really well right for some reason it it just looped i'm guessing that's luck so what you could do let's say if it was here right let's say if it was here and now if you play the end and now if i have to make a loop let's say i want to check if my loop is good so i'm going to select the roughly at the end annoying right i wanted to do, i wanted to go immediately and it didn't happen so what i need to do is just tweak this a bit so a great way to do this in reaper you have two kinds of stopping mechanisms in in reaper the first thing you can do is the space bar stop what the space bar stop does is it retains the playhead cursor from where you played it see and now you play from the same point but what if you want to stop it at the point where it stopped or and then move the play cursor to the new stop location for that you hit enter okay on the keyboard so you have enter and space bar two kinds of ways to stop things in reaper of course uh, space bars to play always bam okay you saw what happened there at the onset or at the one beat i hit the enter button and you saw what happened there right it moved the cursor to that particular point let's just do that again it's good to also select your item get a feel of the timing of your performance and this is a very musical cut so that's that's my cut so what you can do now is you can do this awesome shortcut again in reaper if i uh, i've just customized it to a keyboard key which is x so whenever i hit x this is what happens you saw what what happened there i'll just undo and show you all this extra space gets trimmed out and it comes exactly to the to to, to the playhead okay so i'm just going to hit x and you'll see all this trimming out this is saving you a lot of time bang right now you may be wondering what do i do from here i just update my region because this is what i'm going to render and there we go now if you feel that loop was not too tight make it even more deeper get get it even more as per your liking trim it you'll have to even trim the region quite like that i think that's the keeper that's the selection keeper you see how important the selection is not bad the 
other point I'd like to make with these recordings is I've not recorded it on uh, app on Reaper's time grid or I've not used a metronome. That's just the way I've done this uh, performance. It's more organic or old school, if you will. So uh, that was just to show you how you can do this from scratch. Now, this is what I've ended up doing. And uh, trust me, guys, this whole process took not more than 10 minutes. Right. Actually, it may have even taken lesser time. It may have taken me more time to mix it than to actually um, because mixing is the creative job. When you're in a door, you want to focus your time on mixing. Right. So uh, what I what I have ended up doing is pretty much making all these markers and sorry, regions barely took any time. OK. And what's also nice is you can give them colors. I've colored my YouTube thing for pink colored my Instagram some kind of green so it's very easy and as you can see my Instagram cuts always have my item rulers in order to show that hey be be a bit careful it's for Instagram they're going to cut stuff okay so that's the whole deal I don't want to send it to my mobile phone and then from the mobile phone have to kind of uh, make these uh, annoying you know I just don't like using a mobile phone. So anyway, in this project, I've done, we've done quite a lot of work today. We've recorded a few lessons. As you can see, uh, this is not what I want to render. I've already worked on this. We've also done some jamming, which I have not really bothered to make a region of because that's just for my reference. But all this stuff is what I want to render, the riffs and the Instagram cuts. So you see, I've named it. All you have to do is go inside, double click and you can name it and copy that, tab it and, you know, name it really fast. You don't have to necessarily type all this out. You can just copy paste. OK, so I want to name all this and this is a this is 20 files. OK, this is not a joke. You don't want to be sitting here and doing it 20 files one by one. The, the world has changed and that's what Reaper thinks at least in comparison with some of the other softwares out there. Okay, so now coming to rendering. The shortcut in Reaper is Command-Alt-R or Control-Alt-R on the PC and here we go. You have this really advanced rendering, op uh, rendering dialog box and in the render you want to avoid Master Mix which it is currently I guess by default set on. You do region render matrix okay this means it's going to render the matrix of regions which you are going to select and where is the region render matrix right here you just touch this button and i don't want to render this which i already rendered i want to just select these ones all you do is touch once and just drag your mouse oops it forgot that one that one that one little bit of a reaper thing but anyway uh, i hit render and what is it going to render? It's going to render the master mix. What if you want to render stems to send it to your producer or your mix engineer? Well, if you want, you can also render stems all in one go. But right now, I'm choosing to render master mix. I hit the button render. And what's also great is it's going to render the selection. That is very important. So the region is mass rendering everything I've told it to render. In this case, 20 files as per the region matrix. And what is also cool, it's also rendering the selection. So the selections which I took a lot of effort to make are going to be rendered. And I have that trust that it's going to really work on Instagram and it'll be a nice loop. And I don't have to spend time, you know, thinking, you know, or checking it. I just have to uh, put it on my phone, upload it and send it to Instagram. It's great when you're working alone or if you have limited resources, right? <clears throat> so I'm just going to render it. And now the, the main stuff in rendering, right? The sample rate, 48 kilohertz, the channels, blah, 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 stereo, wave file, 16 bits. That's the default stuff. And now what's going to happen once you hit render, as you can see, it's just going to render it one by one, part by part, and uh, that's it. It's going to just take its time, I guess, and do its own thing. Right now, it's rendering region number one, as you can see. And as we all know, rendering is a process. I'm just going to quickly stop the render and show you a few more things which I forgot to tell you. First of all, file name. 
you have these wildcard things here. So under file name, you want to select region. So it's not just rendering 20 regions, guys. It's rendering 20 regions with the name you gave it. Okay. And you can also choose a browse, obviously, and maybe render it in my Dropbox folder, which in this case is Riffs 2019. Right now, why do I move it to Dropbox for obvious reasons so that it's backed up to the cloud and I can share it from anywhere, which I highly recommend. So you hit apply. So this happens for any project you do. And finally, you just hit render 20 items and that's pretty much it. You can then head over for your lunch, head over to walk your dog, have a shower, whatever it is you want to do. And when you come back to your computer, all these 20 files are going to be absolutely done and dusted and rendered and named and good to go. Again, this is Jason here from Nathaniel. Thanks a ton for watching this lesson on using Reaper's rendering features, using the region option and a few things on selection, little bit on editing and mass rendering, if you will. Right? If you haven't already, do not forget to subscribe to our channel, turn on the bell icon for notifications and also consider sharing the video, leaving us a comment with other things you'd like to learn. We do a lot of stuff on our channel. We do production, we do piano, we do theory, we do ear training and a ton of other stuff. Thanks again for watching. Cheers and I will catch you in the next one.